artificial intelligence is not new. At the same time, everywhere we look on social medias, TV channels, regardless of the topic, it can be marketing, in finance, in healthcare, it's about AI. But why? To answer why, we need first to distinguish between non-generative AI, which we are going to call traditional AI, and generative AI. Traditional AI includes rule-based programs. And I want to make this super easy. So think about the if function in Excel. The if function checks whether a condition is true, and if true, returns a value, and if false, returns another value. For example, imagine we have a formula on cell uh, B6, which is if B5 equals zero, then return value one. If not, return value 100. And the reason we use a function is to automate this decision. We could very much look at the, the value of B5 and type one or 100. For a traditional AI, we are talking about very complex algorithms that work similarly to a series of functions altogether with many complex decision-making points that will lead to a simple outcome. If this, then that, then do this. For example, email filtering. AI helps filter out spam through a series of rules. Another example is Google. When we are looking for information on Google, AI is working behind the, the scenes to analyze our search, match it with relevant information, a huge database, and rank the results based on their relevance to our search terms. This involves various AI techniques, but nothing new was generated. Generative AI, on the other hand, is a type of artificial intelligence that can create new content, text, music, images, videos, content that has never been created before. And this is why everyone is talking about AI. So wherever you are in a social gathering and start talking about AI, and someone tries to kill the hype with, oh, but AI is not new. AI is not new, but generative AI is, and it's transformational. So a quick analogy for you to remember the difference between traditional AI and generative AI would be a coffee barista at Starbucks and a chef. Traditional AI is like the barista who makes your coffee following a standard recipe. Generative AI or Gen AI is like a chef who is always creating a new dish. And how does it work? Is it a series of fifth function? No. Unlike traditional AI, which follows strict rules to perform a task, remember our comparison to super complex if functions, generative AI learns by identifying patterns and relationships within massive amounts of data. Our chef can create a new dish after tasting and learning from hundreds of dishes. This is what it is called deep learning. I love this name. We'll talk more about deep learning in the future. But, but for now, what it's important to know is that Gen AI needs a lot of data. Think about the entire internet. And we have had the internet for a while, which leads us to our second question. Why didn't we have generative AI before? Three critical factors did not exist before, but once they came to life and were combined, Gen AI was born. Here they are. Big data, computing power, transformer architecture, the T in GPT. Let's talk about which one of these. Big data. As we mentioned, generative AI is trained on a massive amount of data. This data can be text, codes, images, audio. The more data the model is trained on, the better it becomes at generating new content. Organizations have been accumulating data since uh, the beginning of the 80s uh, and the 90s, uh, where we start calling the digital age. And this effort has only been expanding. For example, Anytime you identify where the traffic lights or the stairs or the cars are on capture, you are helping Google 
to have images of traffic lights, stairs, cars to train its AI model. <laughs> but the ability to fully utilize this data was limited by the computing power available at the time, leading us to our second point, computing power, which is essentially the ability of computers to perform any task, like browse the web, play games, and use Excel. We didn't have, though, the computing power to process this massive amount of data. To give you an idea, GPT-3 is said to have been trained on 570 gigabytes of data, which is approximately 1.3 million copies of the first Harry Potter. In the early 2000s, major advancements in computing power took place, and one specific was very critical, the development of GPUs, which stands for Graphics Processing Units. This is, this is what NVIDIA does. Uh -huh. We'll do a video on that share price. But coming back, the GPU was originally designed for gaming, but was adapted for scientific computing in around 2011, 2012 for deep learning, the name I like, because of its ability to perform many operations in parallel. And the third breakthrough was the development of the transformer architecture, the T in GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Transformers were introduced in 2017 in the paper Attention is All You Need, written by a team of research at Google. The, the fundamental innovation of uh, this architecture, it's called the Attention Mechanism, which I'll explain in Lay's Woman language. Imagine you're trying to figure out a sentence. If I show you the word bank, you don't know if I mean a place to store money or the side of, of a river, right? I would need to tell you the entire sentence. All the models struggle with this because the model would look at words one by one, missing the bigger picture, missing the context. Transformers change this through the attention mechanism which is like giving the computer a detective's magnifying glass, allowing the computer to zoom in on how words in a sentence relate to each other. Let's see an example of what has changed. Uh, in a sentence, Sarah finally grabbed ingredients from the store after a long day at work to make her favorite lasagna. The words ingredients and lasagna are separated by 13 words. We know that they are connected, but before the Transformers, it was very tough for AI models to capture this relationship. Thanks to it, chatbots and image video generators can understand how words create a bigger picture and understand complex descriptions, like a cat dressed as a pirate sailing a stormy sea. So we see that these three technological breakthroughs, big data, computing power, and transformers have set the stage for generative AI. The best way of learning is by asking. Until our next But Why.